Well hi there guys and girls. Yes, it's Little Glider build number four. Now I've built three of these before, obviously this is number four. The first one was a bit heavy, a bit over constructed. Carbon across here, carbon down here, big chunky motor and ended up so heavy that to actually get the COG right I had to put the LiPo in the middle here on the, on the main spar. Number two was noticeably lighter. In fact this is a wish glider, it's not quite such good foam, but lighter, smaller motor, that's a BR2204, flies nicely, you live and learn as you go along, and less carbon, much thinner carbon spar in here. And I've nosedived this into the ground and in fact it survived it amazingly well. And number three is my favourite because it's the twin and I think it looks great and it flies absolutely beautifully. My construction is getting better. This is also a wish glider because you can only buy the Lidls for a couple of weeks in the springtime. Hence I've got two or three. So build blogs for my first one, the yellow one, and for the twin are on my channel. I'll link them up there somewhere. And now we're on number four. And as you can see, this is a totally different design completely. It's not quite ready to fly. Still need a receiver in it. But I'm going to run through just what I've done here to build this. Obviously you need two gliders. First step is to straighten the wing, which I've actually shown you on another video. I use hot water. Check out the video, I shall link that at the end as well. Next step is to do a bit of hollowing out with a bit of bent wire. Heat it up over your gas hob or gas burner. Just a question of carefully slicing it out. And as you can see, I've actually gone a long way in there and I've had to go all the way through so that I can run the wires through for the brushless motor. And as you can see, this is a pusher configuration. My first little pusher. So, once you've actually straightened the wing, next step is to cut for ailerons. That's explained in the Bigger Build blog for both this twin and the single. Then it's a question of chopping the fuselage. And then basically the booms is just the back half of two gliders. And construction was simple enough. It was a question of cutting a slot, looks a bit messy, and then hot gluing these on. Now the biggest problem was getting these lined up properly so that everything was true, square that way, central, positions were right, spacing was right, and they were lined up this way, which as you can see worked out very well. Now the spacing was actually determined by the width of the tailplane across here, which obviously I've just cut in half and glued as I said. But actually that worked pretty well and it's all very true, as you can see here. Um, but that's partly why this it looks so messy here, because they were big slots and I had to manoeuvre it around a lot. But that worked okay. Now, one thing I was concerned about with building this was it was going to be tail heavy. You've got two fuselages, you've got big tail, and you've got the motor aft of the COG. So I've deliberately inset that. I deliberately didn't fit the elevator servo in the tail. Fitted it here with a, a wire through there to control it. And I've deliberately not over glued. I make the mistake sometimes of putting so much hot glue on that uh, it probably weighs a ton in hot glue. As you can see the other thing you've got to do is cut up the tail planes. Now this is a tail plane for a single in fact but what I've done here you can see is I've put one half, I've cut it in half and put one half in that side and one half in that side and I've added a bit of foam board there just to give it a nicer shape and I've also put a couple of bits of trim there to make it look prettier and as you can see control horn here same question of cutting a bevel there and I like to put a bit of nylon tape along there just for reinforcement so that pretty much covers the construction of that as you can see I've got the wiring in for the servos there obviously the other thing I had to consider was how I was going to mount a pusher because I wanted to be able to access the screws in case I need to change the motor or in case I want to fit a bigger one. So what I've done is I made a template of the back end of this and I have mounted the motor on one piece of 
wood like so. The idea being that I can just screw through into the second piece of wood here, one screw there, two screws here, one here, one here. So that's three screws and bear in mind it's a pusher so it's not exactly going to pull itself off. Might use this prop which is a 6x4 triple and the motor here is a D2205 2300 kV which I've used on a couple of these which I reckon should be enough for this because it's not going to be mega heavy. I mentioned the COG in fact with a 1300 3S LiPo here that's going to be as you can see here just about right I think especially by the time I get a, the receiver in here that is going to be just about right so just waiting for the receiver as I say speed control is in servos are in just needs the receiver in and it's going to be ready for the maiden don't think I've missed anything don't forget ask a few questions if you want down there I'm just, obviously it's a work in progress so I might have to change a few things not quite sure about the thrust angle I think probably absolutely straight so I might have to put a little washer or two in there just to get that right and I've, in the past I've not had too much luck with pushers but this is going to be one where I do have luck with it anyway hope you found that helpful don't forget to ask some questions and if you like hit subscribe to follow the build and with a bit of luck you'll see the maiden but that's all for now safe flying enjoy yourself stay safe and don't forget to socially distance and all that stuff and hopefully I'll catch you again soon. Thanks for watching.